I'm back. <laughs> Hey y'all, thank you for being here. Welcome to Meryl's Mystic. I'm Meryl and I empower witches, bitches, and dudes. Uh, it is my mission to make magic and spirituality more accessible for people and to also empower you to take back your power and be able to instill your life with some magic. Um, it's been a little while, but I'm, I'm back. I think <laughs> I'm very hesitant to say anything officially because I feel like anytime I try to say something officially, I, I tend to get myself in trouble. Um, my horoscope on the CoStar app, if you don't have that app, I highly recommend it. Uh, this is not an ad. Uh, the, my horoscope lately has been calling me out of being a over- promiser under deliverer and I it's a, a shadow side that I've been having a look at there's a lot of shadow uh, work that has come up in the last year if you don't follow me on other socials or my email list please do I'd appreciate that please subscribe um, I've been trying to keep you updated I know I kind of just um, ghosted out on the YouTube channel I had to take a big step back in the middle of last year uh, because I was dealing with the loss of my father. My dad got killed by a drunk driver in December of 2020. And then that um, thus ensued uh, a legal proceeding that took um, about nine months after that. And then we had to put our beloved fur baby down and send him to the Rainbow Bridge. And um, we're still not over that one either. So uh, everything kind of just came to a culmination where I felt like I thought I was doing a lot better than I was. And I had to really, um, I had to really look at what the people around me were reflecting and how I was really feeling uh, and, and make some vulnerable moves so that I could take care of myself and prioritize my mental health. Uh, because I I was in a dark place, a lot darker than probably a lot of people know. Um, there was a moment where I it sounded a lot better, uh, easier to not be in this plane of existence. Um, so I'm I'm glad I made it through. I'm glad I'm feeling a whole lot better. If you are local to Colorado, I may have seen you already this year. The market season has started. I am so excited to be a part of some markets this year and to get out there and meet people after um, being away from everybody for so long. And, uh, and, and to slowly get back on here and, and do what I, I love doing and to connect with you and to bring you, you messages. And so let's, uh, <laughs> Fingers crossed that it goes the way that I would like it to go. We'll see. I know that um, the 2023 has already been kind of rough for some people. Um, I promise you, it's it's about to get a whole lot better. Uh, it kind of it, it the year was a little meh. It it wrapped up some things for some people from the last couple years. I I think there were just some. There's anything that was lingering, um, any stagnation of the energy or situations in your life. It seemed like there was some some culmination or some light being shown on those situations, so that you could decide whether you were going to take them into this next energy or not. Uh, the the year is represented by Cancer. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The year is represented by the chariot card, which is associated with cancer because we are in a seven numerological year. Uh, and so a little bit about a seven year. Seven is a divine number. So this is a great year. There will, I've already seen some people having some existential crises, but it is all to like push you to the place that you are supposed to be. This is the year that things are really going to be aligning for people, especially if you've been working on stuff the last couple years. The last, you know, three years at least have been super challenging for all of us. 
and uh, trust where a lot of us are going through the same things and we're gonna be able to align together a lot better this year. I've also already seen the signs of the positive manifesting and co-creating that we're all doing together and now we're finally starting to come together on those things and that part is is really exciting and I'm I'm excited to see what the rest of this year is. So so here we are. It is airy season officially. So this is like your last new year, your last refresh of the year. It is the beginning of the astrological calendar and it is also aligned with the spring equinox. I This is according to Western astrology. There is also um, Eastern or Vedic astrology is based on uh, the continuous movement of the universe. And so although there are a lot of similarities, I do, they are two different um, systems to organize this. I, I've, most, um, I'm not familiar with how Vedic astrology works. I know, I follow some Vedic astrologers that I will tag somewhere so that uh, you guys can find them if you're interested. I prefer Western astrology just for my work because it is aligned with our seasons. I, I like that part of it. Um, I, I find that the more I'm tapped into the seasonal energy, the more I find my flow within my life on this planet. So that is why I I like that. And I, if you have never been here before, welcome. Um, if you've been following me for a while, thank you for being here again. Welcome back. Thank you for continuing to support me. Um, if it's your first time, please be sure to subscribe. If the messages resonate with you, you give it a like. I am a certified tarot advisor and I am a psychic medium and my goal is to uh, empower you and to make magic and spirituality more accessible and in that also uh, improving our relationships with ourselves and each other and um, planet earth. Uh, so I am considered a, an eclectic witch because I have a lot of, I'm also a manifesting generator, so that's part of it, a lot of hats. Uh, so I really like to gather tools so that I can empower you to have as many tools as you need. Sometimes I, have, I know about tools um, just from trying them out. They didn't necessarily work for me, but I love to know about them because they might work for you. So I'm really like into the seasons and the moons and the and we're in crystals and herbs and the land. Um, I like being in the garden. I like being in the kitchen. I like infusing my home with magic. Um, and I'm here to to share that with you. So thank you so again for being here. I know this is kind of a long intro. It's just been a little while, and I wanted to kick this off correctly. Um, this is gonna how I'm gonna try to do these seasonal um, readings. I think for for I don't want to say from now on. This is what we're trying. Uh, <laughs> ooh, I myself am looking at all my tools and looking at all my ideas, and we're we're refining things. So uh, I'm excited to kind of try something new and the same with you. Although this is for airy season 2023. If you find this message at a different time, it's timeless. Divine messaging is timeless. Time uh, works differently in spirit than it does in the physical plane. So um, I like, <laughs> let's try not to put ourselves in a box um, and we'll try to do this together. If, if no, if messages don't uh, resonate for you then just leave them there they're meant for somebody else just kind of take what resonates with you if you would like more you can always book a virtual one-on-one -on -one session with me and links for that should be attached so Aries season begins began whenever you're seeing this on uh, March 20th the Sun moves into the sign of Aries around 3 25 p.m. A mountain time that's 225 Pacific and and 525 Eastern time 
I can do math in my head. Uh, it is the same time that the spring equinox or the vernal equinox happens. The day before is when o Ostara, the pagan celebration of the spring equinox begins and that goes for about five or six days. And then the day after Aries or the sun moves into Aries, we also get the new moon in Aries on the 21st. And that will be at new, new into the dark of the moon, new, uh at its new point at 11 20 p.m so we have the dark of the moon right before and then as we you know the the moon becomes new and so we're really starting out this astrology new year and aries season with really strong aries energy and i think it's good uh pisces energy i think was already getting us moving and un and like the stagnation the d like what's that word <laughs> and i'm already making words up uh to stagnate uh with your when you're stagnant it's like stirring you up uh it might have even happened a lot quicker than you expected i know that that was happening for me uh, there definitely has been some upheaval in the energy and and so we have to try to make sure we're not reacting that you are taking a step back first before making decisions uh, and so then as we move into airy season you're gonna feel a little bit more sure of of those decisions and your reasoning Aries energy is really great at um not caring what other people think it's it is our baby sign they are the uh, cardinal fire sign being the first sign of the of the of the astrology year they are very independent and can be very stubborn like a lot of us so let me know where you have aries in your chart it affects all of us in some way or another uh, so I also, what we're doing this time is we're picking a pile because I've seen quite a few readers do this and uh, I really wanted to try it out. I had a, um, I got some messages from um, a mentor from my guys, from their guides that this was probably a good thing for me to do. So here we are trying it out. So as you, I was should have on the screen as I was talking was me shuffling ahead of time just because it's much easier that way <laughs> and uh so we have three piles I like to associate those piles with crystals because then it might help you uh intuitively decide which piles the message is for you I like this because it does bring some empowerment to you that you get the a, a choice you get to tap into your intuition and it's not just me saying here's here's what it is because you're the sign you know so we have the first pile is black kyanite or uh, the witch's broom and black kyanite is removes negativity it's good for cord cutting it's great for energy protection um, you know, it's a broom. So like they, one, one thing online said, like you could sweep, it sweeps away the negative energy. Um, uh, Google is a fabulous place y'all. So if you, you know, want, want a little witchy action, you need some cord cutting. I read one thing that said, which I had heard differently one site said that Archangel Michael's sword was made out of black kyanite. I always heard that it was made out of obsidian. Uh, so some sort of black crystal. So that's what that's good for. And uh, black kyanite doesn't, ho can, doesn't hold on to negativity. So if, if that's something you need to uh, purge, um, that would be a good one for you. Next we have a unikite. A little unikite heart it's actually in a heart shape uh and that is a good um stone for balancing emotions and spirituality it is aligned with your divine intuition it also brings a certain grounding for when you are 
tapping into your higher consciousness um, because it helps open your third eye. So if you're needing a, to strengthen your intuition, uh, you feel like your intuition has been telling you something, that might be the pile to go with. And then the last third pile and not least at all is uh, a clear crystal geode. It's just a little geode chunk. Uh, and a little bit goes a long way. Uh, clear quartz crystal is a very powerful uh, purifying stone. The geode purifies spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical energy. Uh, it also helps direct and amplify your magic or your manifestations, your meditations. It can help with channeling. Uh, so if you're kind of maybe moving even into your like crown chakras, getting a little bit more connected with spirit and need to amplify those things, that would be a good energy for you. So I'm excited to see what uh, comes up. So let's like move, let's just kind of set these out of the way and we'll start with our kyanite, our black kyanite pile and um, our first deck which I will have pictures of here. <laughs> uh, we're using the Modern Witches Tarot, the Border of a Rider Way, and the Energy Oracle uh, from Sandra Ann Taylor. The Witches Tarot is by Lisa Sterl. I think that's correct. Okay, so we'll start off with these two. We've got two cards here, and this is what airy season is going to bring for you. And we got the three of swords and the nine of cups. Very interesting energy together. I don't know if I've ever gotten these energies together. So the three of swords, uh, is I feel like it's kind of obvious. There's like a heartbreak here, a, a grief, um, like feeling like you got stabbed in the heart, stabbed in the back, um, betrayal. But then with the Nine of Cups, we have this emotional contentment. So uh, so with the Three of Swords in reverse, what I just heard was like the letting go. This is, which is great that this came with our Kyanite uh, removing negativity cord cutting. There are pains in your past. There are heartbreaks in your past, betrayals in your past that are still like lodged within your self. And I feel like it's preventing you from getting to this emotional contentment. The only person you're hurting by holding on to these grudges is yourself at this point. You're letting people live rent free in your thoughts. Um, that's going to be really important this year is uh, making sure we're really aware of how we're thinking, what we're thinking, what you're putting out there. The more you just feel you're putting out maybe like vengeful, like hoping that karma gets them, it, it you risk it turning back on you. Um, there needs to be this shift of your mindset that, that everything's fine now. Like, I feel like too... These are things that are like way in your past that don't even matter anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like a roommate 10 years ago that you had a bad falling out with uh, and uh, you had to go to small claims court, not based on a true story at all. Um, and, and it's, it's hard to get, uh, to let go of that betrayal, you know, maybe, um, Maybe it's something that broke up with you years ago. Maybe it's like some you got written up for something stupid at some job that doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's like if you really, really examined it and looked at what you were holding on to like that, they're not thinking about you, probably, most likely. <laughs> I just kind of heard like, well, some, for some of you, they might still be thinking of you, okay? But the point is that you're not supposed to be giving them this, your energy, okay? It, it, it's, it is. It's time to cut it off like this. And with multiple swords, too. 
it's time to cut those cords. You have been doing, it just feels like you've been doing all this other work, this other emotional uh, work, life work, to feel good where you're at, to feel good about yourself and about your life and to leave behind that stuff. And, and it still is like, just keeps coming back like a, like a bad, like a bad habit or something. It's, and it's, it's not doing anything beneficial for you at like at all. They're like, you gotta let this go. You gotta let this go because it's tainting all the work you've been doing. And that's, that's the most important thing. <laughs> like you don't want to first be betrayed by this person and then the, let the memory of that betrayal like infiltrate and uh infect this great stuff you have going on that has nothing to do with them okay and what i've heard too from some for some of those that are that that person is still thinking about you it feels uh narcissistic manipulative gaslighty like the only reason that they keep like putting these like barbs in you is um to control you to to steal your energy it's like um it's like those new taser guns that they've had for a while where it shoots out and like bar like i'm pretty sure it's like these barbs that hook into your skin to electrify you and then there's like the the wires are still attached to it so they can keep hitting you with with the shock that's not uh, ow <laughs> like that so let's see uh what you can do about that oh 10 of swords you can be done you can be done. It's very funny because this pile definitely got like the least amount of cards for some reason. I really try to like only get like a cup one to two. Uh, I even had to go back and I'm like, let's get one more for my pile one people, for my witch's broom people. This is more swords. You can be done. They're like, cut it the fuck off. Cut it off, burn it with fire you know, and, and then throw the ashes out to sea, lock it up and throw away the key. <laughs> Cause you're done. You're done. Stick a fork in you. You, you need to be done. You need to make the decision that you're done, that it's not controlling you anymore, that it's not like ruining your life, man. <laughs> It's funny because I, I, when I say it out loud, it sounds so, it sounds like overly dramatic, but it's the energy behind how I'm feeling it, that it it's, it's worse than you even want to admit to yourself. I don't want to, I hate sounding like ominous, you know, people pleaser um I, but i want to give you the correct messages i i don't want people to be scared by this energy but i feel like for you you need to be a little bit scared by it they they keep showing you it's funny it's just like this dark place and then there's this like bright light at the end of the tunnel they're like you're so close you just need to drop that last little bit of baggage man it's gonna be so much more worth it. It's just gonna be so much better for you, for the whole situation, for your life, for this year, especially for this season. This is, uh, it's a good, you know, being Aries season two, it's a good time to look at your goals that you made at the beginning of the year and reevaluate that and, and see, because it's almost like I feel like you're making certain decisions even that you don't even realize are based off of these old betrayals and hurts and heartbreaks that you're holding on to. It's like the example I saw was like 
you're not even like going to certain places in town because you're afraid you're gonna run into this person but the last time that person was there was like years ago you know what I mean and if that person's there you can ignore them you it's your right if they betrayed you and you know they're in the wrong like you ignore them fuck them um yeah it's they're it's they're like stop living your life in this fear that was created by other people's bullshit okay because you deserve better you deserve to be uh, to have it in your past um it's a lesson that you need to learn you overcoming this is the lesson that you need to learn uh, in order to to be able to evolve and to grow and to you know align with those soul agreements and plans that you made to to participate in in this life um one of the best things i heard was from deborah silverman and it, it's I have it written down somewhere. It's my, I chose, you know, my drama and my trauma is part of my soul plan. I, I chose to experience these things. It's not to bypass the trauma on a soul level. Yes, you chose to, to do these things. On a human level, you it's traumatic and you have to work through that. And, and you have to figure out ways to heal yourself, especially to these people. Because I feel like, too, a lot of it is a lot of the one things you're holding on to are the things like not said. The 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 people and, and this will be great work um, in a couple weeks for the Libra full moon. So make sure you're like really um, if you're watching this at, at that Aries new moon time before the Libra full moon. Um, this is going to be a really powerful couple of weeks for you to do this letting go and, and to do some forgiveness work. The forgiveness work is for you. It's not for them. You don't have to write them or call them up and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Like you, you can write a letter that you don't send that you burn under the full moon saying, you know, I, I accept what you did. Um, I won't forget it, but but I I forgive you, or I'm working on forgiving you. Uh, I want to forgive you. Um, I want to let this go because it is. It's those people that you know you're not gonna get an apology from. The you know that you're not gonna get them to even admit what they did. Uh, it's it's these people that you're not gonna get what you feel like you need from them in any sort of closure sense so you have to do it yourself for yourself so that 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 energy isn't holding you back anymore and I, a little bit I feel like this should, should have been my pile also uh, so let's see um, what energy Oracle you got oh rest and rejuvenation that would be good also. Integrate, letting go. Man holding coin. Interesting. The man holding coin was the extra one that I got for you. <laughs> Which, rest and rejuvenation seems, you know, a good one for you. But I don't know about man holding coin. We'll see. Okay, so they're upright. Rest and rejuvenation, relaxation, and meditation. This card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state. The message here is that it's time to relax. You may have been busy lately, but you should soon be finding more time to just let go. When you do, allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. See, that's what I was talking about where like it's... You got to control your thoughts too. You got to control, uh, you can't let these thoughts come in your brain. And then like, I mean, you can't stop them from not coming in your brain. You can stop yourself from attaching to them and building a drama around it. Okay. So this might even be about meditation practice for you specifically, because that is a big theme for the seven year is, is this controlling of our thoughts. 
This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular rel relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity in your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than unceasing action. So I think that might be even be a key to you letting letting this the, these stagnant energies go that have just like like parasitic. They are like parasitic, and they come from a source. They they come from a place. So, but it's up to you to to treat the the source and not just the symptom. Okay, 43, man with coin. I like that he also is a man, but he's got long hair. I like uh, some androgyny. And these are older cards, so they could, they could relate to anybody. Uh, male connection in money, health, or value. This card shows a man sitting in a lush, lushly flowering field holding a large, bright coin. For men, this could in, could indicate an aspect of yourself or for mask people and a readiness to further your goals and receive increased health, money, or value in your life. Greater success is on its way when you take control of your own finances and act. I feel like that could be anybody. <laughs> this card upright could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or are soon to meet. This man person is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take next sorry the action you need to take next be open to this person showing up with support but also turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the inform information you receive this could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or man from work a uh, wealthy person person from work so it doesn't <laughs> usually the cards are like so clear that they align the rest of relaxation for sure. Uh, but I wanted to get you guys another card. Um, let, oh, this affirmation. I forgot to read the other affirmation. I determine my own destiny. I take financial action and I'm receiving and am receiving wonderful assistance from those around me. So for you too, it's not even like about money. It's about this help in the physical. It's about the things that you need to do so that you improve your experience in the physical also. Um, and it's funny when I was reading, helpful may bring sage advice concerning an action you need to take next. That could be me. I could they'd be like, listen. <laughs> Listen to what Meryl is telling you. Um, the affirmation for rest is I let. Nope, that's not it. I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. That's. I feel like they keep showing you the the light at the end of the tunnel. Peace and joy are available for you. It's right there within your grasp. This is just the thing that's holding you back. I almost wondered too, if this, cause this, the more I was reading about this man, man with a coin, man holding a coin, this could be that person that you have to let go of this energy from. This could have been a, a guy, a friend, a roommate, a lover who, who screwed you over and might've owed you money. Because, uh, I, we're, <laughs> I can talk because trust me, uh, uh, none of us are above staying with somebody because they owe us money. I think a lot of us have been there. I guess say we've all been there, but I know I've definitely thought about staying with somebody because they owed me money. It's not worth it. Cut your losses, you know? Um, so it, and this person too, if it's one, if it's somebody that's not that far in your past, that person that's still thinking about you or still trying to control you, they could be using finances to try to control you also. So that was just kind of like a side message for somebody that might not, not that didn't feel like it was for, for a lot of people. It was very specific. 
Okay, so meditation, rest, relaxation, let go of past hurts and heartbreaks. It is time. It's time to let it go. Um, if you thought that you d couldn't think of something, I that thing that you thought maybe that was it, that's it. Okay, listen to your intuition. It's 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 telling you where to go okay <laughs> cool so um if you would like more please you know you can easily find me you can easily book a session with me and then um we'll see we're gonna see how these go and then i might be offering some extended versions in on my patreon you can join patreon right now and you will get a just audio podcast version of the readings. Cool. Thank you for anybody who picked the Black Kyanite Witch's Broom pile. I appreciate you being here. Um, jump to the end if you want. If not, I'll see you later. Okay, pile two. Unikite, unikite, you unity, unity, <laughs> your emotions and your spirituality and the opening of your third eye, your divine intuition. Let's see what we have coming up for you for Aries season. Oh, the three of cups and the two of swords. I'm getting some interesting combinations of energies. It, it's funny, there's like this coming together and then there's making this decision. Um, it feels like for some of you, there's a sacrifice that's going to be needing to be made. Um, you can't do everything that you want all at the same time. Uh, and then I heard, I could hear the Rolling Stones, you can't always get what you want. Um, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. Uh, so, so it, it it's interesting because a lot of the time, like the Three of Cups, it's it's a celebration. It's just, it's coming together um, with friends. I, I like this card because they're like clearly at a festival, having a good time. So it, it's very. It, with coming up with the two of swords, it feels very shiny and tempting and like, isn't this so great? Um, but however, there could be the risk for some of you that it's not as great as it seems. If your intuition is telling you for any reason, like, oh, this might not be a good idea, go with that, okay? Um, for other people, because it is the two of swords, because we have these... the this, you know, fork in the road, these, this choice to make. For some of you, you need to be choosing the fun. For some of you, your intuition is the, it's like two, two schools of intuition here. Uh, so you, so say there's two people and they, they both want to go to the same thing. For one person, the intuitive red flags are coming up about that event or about the people that you're going with or about the situation that you, you know, the Airbnb you're staying in doesn't sound the best or doesn't, uh, you know, you don't trust everybody you're going with so that you're worried that your experience there isn't going to actually be as good as you think it is. Uh, so that's, so for some people, you need to be listening to that intuition. That if anything is telling you something about that situation is not going to work out like you think it is, do not go. For some people, everything's going to go great. <laughs> and this can happen. Two Different people can go to the same event and have two completely different experiences. So for some people, the situation is right. 
the, you know, you got a great place to stay, you got great people to go with, but your intuition is telling you, oh, I, you know, I, or you think your intuition, I feel like for, it's your anxiety for this other group of people. It's your anxiety telling you, I, I can't miss work. Somebody has to feed the dog. You know, somebody has to, yeah, like, what about this and that and the other? It's going to co cost money. I'm going to have to do laundry. I got to do all these extra things to make it work, blah, 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 blah. I, 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 sh I shouldn't go. Some of you are saying, oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't go and have fun. You are the, the school folks. That should be going. If you are making excuses to not go because of things at home you should be going. Okay. I hope that, I hope that kind of makes sense. It's interesting getting the message and verbalizing. Um, because some of you shouldn't be going and some of you should be going and they're for different reasons. Uh, and it, I'm interested to know if some of you end up going and ignoring your intuition and, and, and how it goes for you. Cause I feel like it's like, uh, it's not good. But for some of you, like staying home isn't good. You need to go. You need to go have some fun. Okay. Okay, let's see what these um, next clarifier cards are um, about the situation because that's kind of all that came up. Okay, four of pentacles, seven of swords, and the star. What did I just say? <laughs> so here's <laughs> here's those of you who are making every excuse to stay home because of your anxieties. Can't spend the money. I can't. I can't take the time off of work. I can't do this. It, I got. I'm. I'm just easier to not go have a good time. And then here's those of you who are like, ah, it sounds good and I would, I would like to go, but there's something about the situation that just isn't sitting right with me. Um, it, it feels like for some of you, it's like a friend of a friend that is like in the group going is gonna, like their energy is gonna totally ruin it. Um, there's something that you're not trusting about the situation and you should be following that intuition. It's not gonna like, it's not gonna work out. So it's funny with the star coming up in reverse cause it's like, uh, it feels a little bit of like a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know? Um, but at the same time, it's, <laughs> I, I just feel like some of you who are seeing the red flags about going are like, it's fine. It can't be that bad. It is. It's that bad. Okay. Just like I didn't want to get all dramatic with the first file about things. Like uh, the, the cards are here to call us out. The cards are here to warn us and to help us avoid possible problematic things. A weird, like that this could be a waste. Like it just, for some of you, if you're ignoring the red flags, going is going to be oh, is going to be a waste. And for those of you who are thinking it's going to be a waste to go, should go. It's not going to be it's not going to be a waste. Um so it's like what's your intuition and what's your anxiety? Okay? What's the truth of the situation and what's the illusion? And if you got quiet, what's what is your heart and soul calling to you to do? Because for some of you, it's like, it's your best friend in the world. It's all the people that you are comfortable with. They got the whole thing figured out. You really could afford it. You probably have paid time off lined up and you're a workaholic and you're not taking advantage of, of a benefit that you've more than earned eyebrow feels so thick and so you're making every excuse to avoid going when for you that you need to go 
you need to go okay um please let me know which uh school of intuition risk anxiety that you're in this is very interesting um yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just very self-examining, um, or it's, uh, it's not even self-examining, it kind of, but it's like the situation and yourself and how it all intertwines together. Okay, let's see what the energy oracle says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes um y'all like so if you listen to the beginning like i took a break the the thing i can't can't take a break from or i couldn't shut off you can't shut off is is this sensitivity i think that's why and i think we all have it in us at a certain level and I think that's why a lot of us are into like numbing because it can be a lot it can be a lot um so the two cards you got are indecision number eight indecision and number 24 adjacent possibilities <laughs> I don't think I've ever pulled those two cards before and it's so funny that like Yeah, it's funny. It's like some of you need to save your money and it's not worth it. And some of you need to like take that freaking paid time off and and get it done. It's like, yeah. So if your intuition shows showing you red flags about the situation, listen to it. If your anxiety is preventing you from going, don't listen to it. Okay, let's see what number eight says. indecision which choice to make <laughs> upright this card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in your life it shows you anxiously looking at two roads wondering which would be the better choice yet you are under yet yet you are standing still feeling confused by the up and down emotions of your present indecision you could spend days, months, or even years in this back and forth energy, all the while feeling your focus and your life force energy draining away. This indecision creates a paralysis of will, one that can keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice. It's time to let go of the analysis and self-doubt that have been keeping you stuck. Meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides where your spirit guides you, where your heart and soul guides you. That's the star in reverse coming up. <laughs> Consider which direction resonates with you most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honoring choice. The affirmation, I release fear and move forward with courage and trust. I have the power to direct my own destiny now and always. I have the power to direct my own destiny now and always. You also have the power to say no. Because some of you need to say no. <laughs> so funny. It's so funny how how aligned this was. Um, with And the images I get, like it's still, it still like blows me away. Adjacent possibilities, many unconsidered options. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potential, potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course. Whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions, unlike the indecision card, y'all, it's 
literally referencing the in this indecision card in this card. No, never, never in my call. Like, call the how do they call each other back? What? <laughs> Unlike the indecision card that we just read, which is, indicates confusion and, val and vacillation about which course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and, it and it's time to take a wider look at things. As you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decisions and bring happiness, strength, and forward motion. And and my and my examples are just examples. So whatever's coming up for you that aligns with that, like it could be, I mean, it could be moving in with somebody, you know, it, where you're ignore some of you are ignoring the red flags and you're like, yeah, let's do it. And then some of you, are making excuses to not move into this with this person when you actually need to be vulnerable and open up and and take that risk okay so it it really can relate to whatever this choice is for you and it's about where you're approaching the choice from and what you're seeing about the situation in terms of your goals this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas Perhaps there's a marketing tool you haven't thought of, a connection you haven't tapped, or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you, more suited to you. Be conscious, be aware, and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now. So maybe if it is like our original example, you know, and friends want to go but you don't like this person that's going and you know that you would have a better time if you weren't around them. Like, like for example, if everyone wants to stay in this house, but to the people you know drain your energy and you still want to go, if you can afford to still go and stay in your own place or like request your own room, you know, like pay a little bit extra for the room, cool then you can make it work to go. But if it's, that isn't your option, like why even go there if you know you're not gonna be enjoying yourself because your energy is gonna be drained, okay? So it really is about like, are you coming from t at this from like a fear perspective? Are you ignoring the red flags? Um, Affirmation. I am open and willing to take my life in new directions. I am becoming more aware of my many options for harmony and optimism in my thoughts and in all my choices each day. That was very cool, y'all. I really hope that this helped kind of clear up the options. Um, if you ha do have some big choices you're choosing from right now, that's a great thing for us to do one-on-one -on -one where we can really dissect everything and look at what would happen if you chose this what would happen if you chose that and then what can you do to get to one of those outcomes okay cool thank you so much uh i really hope that this brought you some clarity uh, it, i could see that this is something that you're really really been struggling with uh so really like it's, it's okay to get quiet too, um, and to make sure you're tapping into your intuition, your heart, your soul. Um, one of my like favorite bits of wisdom my mom passed down to me is when you don't know what to do, do nothing. So, so truly like if, if you're not a for sure, yes, then, then think about it for a little while. Wait, wait till you come to a decision, whatever that may be, and however that's going to work best for you. Cool. Cool. I hope to see you next season. Keep an eye out for all things. Who knows, who knows what I'll be coming up with next? I'm a wild card. Who knows? I could just disappear again. We'll see. <laughs> Life's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, last and certainly not least, I'm gonna pile these up a little bit here. 
Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we got the most cards over here. Oh, no, it kind of balanced out. The most Oracle cards, that's for sure. Okay. My crystal quartz people. Let's go this way. Nine of Wands reversed, Nine of Pentacles, and Judgment reversed. Interesting. So in terms of airy season, bringing this to the forefront, there's something you've been working on for a while. And maybe you're not sure either if your investment is paying off. Um, you need to trust. Uh, it's funny, I've been telling quite a few people because it's a seven year, because of the transitions we're going through, a big theme is trust and patience. And I, <laughs> I, I, and I, I understand because it's, it's not the easiest for me either. I am also a human being, um, but I love the reaction I get from people when I tell them that they're like, oh, really? <laughs> Because we all know that these are things that we need and these are things that we are the hardest uh, to work on. Um, but you it, you can work on it. Um, uh, I can say from experience that I definitely have way more patience and trust way more in the universe than I did 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Okay? So it's your work is going to pay off. Um eventually <laughs> I heard like it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some time and that's why there's this this level of trust that needs to happen and that you need to keep like investing keep taking care of things uh you know picking the fruit when it's ripe weeding weeding out the weeds um I'm using the the garden uh, analogy because in the Nine of Pentacles she's in this beautiful garden. Here they are standing with all of their hard work. The Nine of Wands too is about you know taking a licking and keep on kicking, and it's it's not like a a licking for no reason. <laughs> ah, I just heard that. Um, it's you're not taking the hits for no reason. Uh, they're all they're all building to something there there will be a moment when it all makes sense um there will be that moment when all those skills that you've been gathering all the things that you've been accomplishing um they all might not seem like they go together and, and they're they they will they are going to go together it just might not be clear right now how they're going to go together. That's where, again, where this trust comes in. You have to trust that it's part of the process. You might not have all the tools yet. There might be some tools that you need. Um, you don't know what you don't know, uh, but it's coming. It's on its way. It, it very much just feels like one step at a time, day by day, step by step, moment by moment, presence, patience, trust, okay? Um, the judgment card is all about aligning with your purpose, with your path, um, and with the two nines, like this reaching a culmination of things. I, I Nines, tens, it can kind of be complete. Nine is kind of a completion number, but an end, but it doesn't feel, it's not like an end end. It's not like, oh, into that book and we're done it's it's a culmination it's an evolution it's a leveling up it's it's yeah evolving to that next level and then there will be more steps after that it doesn't fully end there's not a, you know even in death there's not it doesn't end there's no no real ending I don't, I don't, I apparently need to see it, say it as many different ways as I can. It's a, it's a culmination of 
of everything that you've been working on. But that doesn't mean once you get to the proverbial end, the work doesn't end, you know, you're still, it's, it's kind of like the work starts all, you did all the prepping and all the legwork. And then like the real work starts, the, the, the real thing that you've been, been building. Now it gets to take off. You know, it's like you, there's all this work that it takes to open a business. And I'm, I mean, like a physical, you know, store, you have to rent, you know, get the lease and then you have to stock your shelves and you have to hire employees and you have to open bank accounts and get payroll going. And you have to make sure your electricity is taken care of and other utilities and that your employees have what they need and that you're, you know, you're hiring the right people. There's so many steps in that. And then you open and then the work starts of actually operating the store and having cuss and then you're introducing customers and, and then, you know, they buy inventory. So you gotta have more inventory come in. So that's what I mean where it's like, Oh, we put this store together and that's it. That was fun. Tear it all down. No, we put the store together and then we open it and then we, we invite more people into it and the real work begins. So that, that's, that's the analogy that, that was coming that I saw. Um, only one, it's funny, you got the most starting, um, messaging and we got our one lone, I shouldn't say lone, you know, our one lone, uh, va uh validator, clarifier. It's so funny. Um, <laughs> I just realized that the word clarify, it's a great word. Great word. It's got has great meaning. Um, but for some reason in my life, this word does not stick in my brain. And this has been going on for years because when I was a hairstylist, guess what? There's clarifying shampoo and you need to use that clarifying shampoo for special, for special things, but more often than you think you do. And guess what? I couldn't remember all the time. The clear, that deep cleaning shampoo clarifier. Guess what? Uh, you know, extra cards are called when you want clearer message, a clarifier. <laughs> And yet, <laughs> will not stick. Okay, so I just you just saw a live aha moment. So I don't. I'm gonna explore that later. Okay, your clarifier is the two of cups. Interesting. So I think for a lot of you who chose this pile, um, I'm thinking that this clarifier is for. Uh, my single people out there, uh, or it could, it could, if you're attached, it could be the next level. So for single people, you have been doing all this work on yourself. Okay. And you've been, you know, getting in a better place and, and, and working on yourself, healing yourself, being your own soulmate so that you can attract a healthier mate. So you did, you've done, you're doing all the work. The mate is coming to you. You got to keep doing the work, keep doing the work. And then when you meet the mate and then there's, that's the real work. You know, it's, I mean, the real work, you're doing the real work on you, but the work continues because then you're doing the work of being in a relationship, the work of dating, the work of getting to know somebody and being with them. Um, but again, your work is paying off. You're doing all this internal work. You're doing all these things that are, that feel good and make you, f make you realize why you're, uh, chose to be alive also, you know, that, and, and it, being really connected and embodied within yourself and feeling really good about that. And like being, having those realizations is like, Oh, I, I, I kind of like myself. I dare I say, I love myself, you know, <laughs> cause if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love everybody else? RuPaul, thank you. And so it's it's going to pay off again. Patience, trust. You want the right person to come, not just any person. You're doing your work. You're putting the intention out to the universe. 
that person's doing their work. They're putting attention out to the universe. And then eventually they have to like work, you know, things together. There's all this background divine work, but it's happening. I've seen it with my own eyes. One of the markets that I got hooked up with, they literally formed when I was like thinking of, I need this market and everybody I've talked to that's involved in we all, we all manifested this together. We're all connecting and feeling like community really quickly. And we were all looking for the same thing, you know? And so we've all like, we're doing it y'all. <laughs> and so for you, for you specifically, it's they're bringing the, this person to you. If that's for my single people, if you are in a relationship this just means that this is another evolu evolution, evolution, another evolution of your relationship. So this could be the first thing I, I got, the first vision I got was like a wedding. Uh, you know, you did all this preliminary work in your relationship and everything's great. And, and you've, you know, and then proposal, that could be the next step or you're already engaged. And then that takes work to do the wedding. And then after that, you're married, you know, <laughs> like there's all, there's work, but it's all for a purpose. This is all purposeful work. Um, yeah. Or, or you could, you know, the next step could be having a kid. Next step could be moving in with each other, you know, and you do all that work. You do this work of like finding a place to live. But then you move in and now it's living together. Now that's the work. Um, and it's not work all the time, but it's it, it, it's very much on your path. You're very much where you're supposed to be. And I feel like the, you know, if you if you keep committing to your to yourself and your life and your loved ones, it's just gonna keep on rolling out beautifully, you know? So let's look at all these Oracle cards because you got all of them. Um, in reverse, door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, I like that. Uh, also in reverse, door to romance. All right, I like that. Because even when you've been together with somebody, like you you find new ways to connect. You just do. I, I, I'm telling, there's times where I get worried in my relationship because I've, never been in a long relationship longer than two years. I used to joke that my relationships either lasted two months or two years. <laughs> and now, you know, I'm like well into six, year six with my partner. And I'm amazed, I'm like amazed when all of a sudden it feels like we like found some weird new way to like connect with each other or new ways to be vulnerable with each other and just like let our walls down and just be like, completely goofy and ridiculous with each other you find new you know so I don't want people to think that because it came in two of cups if you're in a relationship that doesn't um apply to you it does it's about finding these new levels of intimacy and depth and connection and vulnerability and the sun oh the sun's been coming up a lot lately I love that the sun came up oh storm warning interesting Interessante. Y'all are making me read a lot. So I'm going to sip my water here. That was the last of it. Um, okay, 34, which is number seven, which, oh, 34 and 33. One and 10. Oh, and then two ones. Interesting. Definitely moving forward. Definitely like a partnership vibe for sure it's all happening uh person door to personal healing and happiness new beginnings in your personal life this card is a harbinger of positive change the beautiful light-filled door opens into a lush rainbow lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers and it's we're in the beginning of spring here in the northern West, northern hemisphere that is airy season is spring equinox uh, whether you're working on inner healing, such as breaking an addiction or looking to make an external change, excuse me, or looking to make external changes, such as finding a new place to live, this card signals your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. 
In reverse, you may be feeling stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now. It's that to keep the 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 discipline to keep going forward where it's like I've done I've done the work. <laughs> I didn't see I did all the work. So where's my reward? You know, it, it can be hard not to feel that way. Like, okay, I'm ready, you know. So th the universe might not be ready. That other person might not be ready yet, you know. Uh, Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now, or specific plans for personal change may be being blocked. Remember that your intentions need to be clear and uncon unconflicted. Whatever you're working on, you need to know that you are capable of achieving it and that you deserve it. Put your heart into the plans and changes you desire and realize that you are worth your own time and effort. The new beginning you seek will come with your own focus and patient determination. What did I say? Affirmation. I am strong, focused, and self-directed. I have the power to create wonderful new realities in my life. You are. You are creating that new reality. It just takes more time than we are used to in our modern society. Okay? Our, the way we function especially in the West, in our Western society, is not aligned with the universe, universal energy. And that's where the patience comes in, trusting and patience that, that it is aligning the way it's supposed to. Because it's not just about you being ready, it's about the universe being ready, it's about the other people being ready, okay? Okay, number 33 is the one before that door to romance new beginnings in love so they're like okay like you're getting near the end of kind of this culmination this completion and here here's your new beginnings coming in like you only have two new beginning cards and then the number one the sun which is like the new day okay i'm interested to see what the storm warning says um, new beginnings in love. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship you're in, this door with a heart opens into a new beginning in your experience. This card reverse indicates a delay or disappointment where love is concerned. Why did I say? <laughs> in a present relationship, it could also be a sign of distance or separation. For some, the door you love may seem to have been shut for a long time, but the energetic universe is always in a state of flow or flux. Knowing this, you can work on making changes in your daily life that will bring more love into your experience. So if that's, I know for people in present relationships, it's saying distance or separation. I don't feel separation here for anybody. I, it could, there could be like a distance, maybe the storm's warning, like it's just a moment. It feels like it's just, you know, it's just a moment and you'll come back together. You have your own stuff you got to worry about. They have their own stuff they got to worry about. Sometimes you just got to like focus on what you got to do and try, you know, they're an adult. They can feed themselves. If your health, if your relationship is healthy and you both are committed, it shouldn't matter. There could, this could result in, in separation if you have things you need to work on. Like if this, what this is working towards has to do also with like your, your personal purpose in life, your work, you know, your calling. If your other, if your person, <laughs> it isn't supportive of you having to sometimes not be able to give them all of your attention because you need to, there's other things to happen that need to happen for you. That's a sign that it might be time for separation. Okay. You shouldn't be being guilted or made to feel bad or manipulated to not focus on things that are calling to you that you that are your goals. Okay. So this could sh be showing you too, how you move forward might mean leaving that person behind, unfortunately, for some, for some, some of you, not all. 
just felt like somebody out there needed to hear that. That if you are with someone and you're like, hey, I want to do this thing, and that means I need your support, and like, okay, and then they're not supportive, that's not good. You deserve somebody who supports you, who also trusts you and trusts your relationship, that it's not going to... Somebody in a trusting, healthy relationship shouldn't think that the, that you going after your goals and dreams and the things that you love isn't going to take away from your relationship. It can. Sometimes it can happen. But you can have, you know, but then you have f find ways to communicate. I just wanted to put that out there for somebody. Like, if you're not being supportive, supported, it might be time to reevaluate that situation. Remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even see it. I got the message before I read it. Encourage yourself and always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are of receiving your own love and that of others. Such choices in your attitude and self-treatment will shift any old energy of self-dismissal, changing your core consciousness and all that you attract. So tell the universe you're ready for real love because you're finally willing to give it to yourself. Okay. The affirmation, as I open the door to my own self-love, I attract more and more loving tenderness to me. So that's also the answer too. It's like when, when, if your mind's like getting to you and you're just like, when is this going to happen? And you just can't stop thinking about it. That's the moments where it's time to turn the self-love to you. What can you do in those moments to make yourself feel better about yourself, about the situation? You know, what do you want to do? You got hobbies, you have friends, like pull out your toolbox and, and invest in yourself, reinvest, keep reinvesting in yourself and in, in your own happiness. Okay, you deserve it. Okay, the sun, new beginnings, and great creativity. Uh, y'all, y'all, y'all. They're tell they're showing you. They're showing you the light at the end of the tunnel. They're like just a little bit more work. Just a little bit more work. Just a little bit more work. You're almost there. It is on its way, like threefold. Threefold it is on its way. One, two, three, new beginnings. Threefold it's on its way. So trust, trust. It's, it's coming. The sun brings blessings to the earth. And this card pretends blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the, in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning. The onset of nurturing, new light in your life. Uh, oh, I misread that. The, the onset of a nurturing, new light in your life. The light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, beginning... <laughs> Beginning the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby or the writing or publication of a book, some uh, something you birthing, you know, the work, the work continues, <laughs> the new work. <laughs> now is the time to put your energy, or even the birth of a new you, excuse me. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. So the final steps too is to, to get clear about where you're going. It's like you've been doing all this work. It might be time to reevaluate, especially if it's somebody, if you're, you know, uh, hoping to attract a partner might be a good time to look back at, you know, the things you're looking for and how have they change. You've changed. The more you have value in yourself, the more you love yourself, what you're looking for changes. So re so maybe look back. I know if you got a list, it's, it's great. Great to make lists. I love a good list. 
Virgo moon. Um, red flags, green flags, yellow flags, things that you're willing to compromise on, what you're willing to not compromise on, and what you're really looking for, okay? The affirmation, I open my heart and life to the creative inspiration of divine love. I choose to create happiness in every day. Now, y'all, you are so supported. You're so supported. This just feels like, ugh, I can't help but put my hand on my heart because you just feel so supported right now in your work, in where you're going, in these new beginnings coming your way. How exciting. And just like, ugh. It's just, oh, they're just, they're just infusing you with love too, where it's just like, oh, isn't it, isn't it just like, mm, life feels good. Mm, feels good to be alive. Oh, mm. <laughs> okay. And then we have our one warning because, you know, energy and all that. Gotta have, you can't have the light without the dark. Storm warning, clouds on the horizon. This card indicates a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer and you may have already heard rumblings of potential problems around you. The caution here is to be conscious, not fearful. Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. As with all difficulty, even the worst storm passes. Always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. Always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. I know this seems like a little, a little off. But I feel like, too, this is like the potential for problems if, if you if you push, if you rush, if you do not heed the messages, and if you're not patient, if you don't trust, like self fulfilling prophecy. I the affirmation, I have the power to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I can be strong, confident, and self-directed. Because there's always going to be work. <laughs> right? Isn't that kind of the theme? Like, the work never totally ends. Um, so, how do you not let it overwhelm you? How do you hold on to your patience, your consciousness, your presence, and your trust? How do you not let, you know, your worries overtake you, the pressures of society overtake you and make you think that you should be somewhere that you're, you're not. You're right where you're supposed to be. Don't rush it. Don't push it. Allow the flow, allow the flow there. That's, mm. we're allowing the flow. You're doing the work. You, you will continue to do the work. You know how to do the work, okay? But no, this, it's gonna pay off. It is gonna pay off. It is. I don't even feel it. I feel like this is the warning is that if, if you don't find the patience and trust, you know what I mean? Then it's, it's self-fulfilling prophecy. It's, you know, well, I, I, I knew nothing was gonna work out. Don't do that to yourself. Mm -mm. Don't do that to yourself. That's not going to help. It's, it's not going to help your manifesting. It, it's going to counteract everything. It's like, be careful, be careful not to let, let the, let the shadow overtake, let the dark overtake. Okay. I have the power to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I can be strong, confident, and self-directed. And I think too, that means like they, they were already saying like, be clear, be clear with the universe, be clear with yourself. Okay. You can't expect some, no one else is going to come complete you. That's not what, that's not what you should be looking for. 
it's when when you're in 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 the cheesiest way you know it things happen when you're out looking for them keep 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 focusing on where you're at and and in your present moment because you're right where you're supposed to be okay <laughs> I'm yawning, I'm coughing, I'm losing my voice. Um, I probably edit it, uh, ed, try to edit it out so you didn't have to hear it. Thank you so much for being here. I, I really hope that this helped. If this was your pile, if you watched all the messages, great. I hope you got something from all of them. They were all beneficial. I know I got something from them. So I hope that you did too. Please be sure to like if if they resonated with you, subscribe so you can get all the updates. Check me out on social media. Thank you again. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great airy season. Take care. Bye.